Yo, 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 YouTube. So in the previous dig video at the National, I showed you how to search the dollar box, which is mainly going to be star cards. But how do you search a 10 cent box to find value? Well, a couple different ways. Um, you're going to look for things that just look cool that you haven't seen anywhere else. That uh, maybe some, some players that aren't talked about as often or aren't considered star players, Hall of Fame players. Um but you think you still have value. My, my primary goals here are to look for rare inserts, 90 stuff, of course. Um, maybe some players that have mm -hmm. careers outside of football, didn't have a great football career, but um, will get some attention Gary. outside of there. And then even just some PC stuff, when you're paying 10 cents a card, I know, I just you find something you like, you. it's a great value. Now this is the, the same dealer as I went through the dollar box for, so this was you know about 8 feet away mm -hmm. from where that most of that video was shot. It was convenient, I was already there. I already made a good, easy deal with him on the dollar box. So I knew I could do something with the 10 cent box. I, I just needed to make sure I found enough cards so that I could make a offer. Chrome inserts, tops Chrome, Bowman Chrome, those are always <laughs> pretty yeah. sought after so I try to look through those closely and see if I can find some Same value there no how about some Ray Rice Oh, yeah. Now, in theory, at ten cents a card, you could probably just buy out the box for you know twenty, thirty bucks. Oh boy! But it would be so much digging and storage, and honestly, a lot of these listing them, What's they the would just never sell. But uh, by the time you figure in fees and shipping and everything else, out? you'd have to get no, enough I money for fine. them. Okay. And yeah, you know those. they're not even really selling out of the ten cent box, so that's not the best strategy for flips. So you can see as I'm digging through here, there's definitely some, I, about bringing my thoughts I don't know if you want to call them gems in the rough, but off. some yeah. things I'm that like, look yeah, like no they would have some potential uh, hologram stuff, that kind of thing. Uh, they loved it. Um, strange, you know, inserts, things like that. From the 90s do definitely those, have like, a market. As you can tell here, I'm pretty picky. I looked at so many inserts from you know the 90s, the early 2000s. I kind of know what goes and what doesn't go, and you know what players you can get something for, what brands, what types of inserts. So I'm just going to be very selective because I just don't want a bunch of junk, essentially. I shouldn't say junk, but I mean cards that I can't sell. Guys, 
Uh huh. Another stripe, huh? Hey, here's another Browns. Oh no, Ravens. It's got a Ravens logo and a Browns uniform. He probably got picked up that year. Yeah, I'm sure. Corey Dillon. Here you go. Eric Zayer. There's some Browns. Um. I sold a I sold a bunch of Corey Dillon stuff the other day. Corey Dillon. I got I bought a lot of some stuff mainly because it had some far stuff that I needed. Yeah. And it had like a whole bunch of Corey Dillons and I'm like, yeah, whatever. I don't think they'll move, but remember I list everything, right? Yeah. Because why not? Somebody came in and cleaned them all out. Well, at least they're there were like low end inserts and stuff like that. A couple of rookie cards. <laughs> Alright, so we're still digging. Um, I haven't found a whole ton of stuff in here, but again, at 10 cents. I'm just trying to build a big enough pile to see if there's something I can make some offers on. Ooh, this is a national promo card. Yeah, it was a Cleveland National. He'll probably want that. So I'm running into a streak here of some modern cards. Um, I don't do as much with modern, but modern cards, if you look like mid 2000s, early or late 2000s, that's good stuff to buy just because there wasn't as much printed as there is today or you know in the 90s for that matter. I was hitting some nice pockets of some wild card okay. stuff, which anyone who watches my channel knows that's one of my favorite uh, brands of all time. Of cards, so I, do, you know, I, I will pick up stripes and things like that at 10 cents a piece. If I don't sell them, don't care. I think they're cool cards and right here, I like to uh, to have them available. Corey Dillon. Thanks for sticking through me with this and watching the video. As you can there. see, there's some pretty cool, you know, again, mostly 90s inserts. You can see there was a lot of cool stuff in that time. So even just looking through the boxes is, is a lot of fun. This is all yours? No, 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 no. I didn't look through those yet. Oh, okay. I was trying to make some myself some room. And then I also had... There's no uh, bigger show than the National. Stop the so this is a great opportunity to really dig and, and okay. see cards that are out there, see what other people are buying, and get a real feel for the market and see what opportunities you have. Hey, here's a Browns card. You'll like this one. A team checklist insert card. Is it a checklist insert? Card? Yeah. Those were really rare. That's what are you getting this one? That's for Jason. Ah, gotcha. He collects Kishan. Well the Browns team checklist is for the other guy. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. I figured he'd want that. It's a team checklist, you know, if you're is a team it collector. Yeah. I can tell just from experience that this box has been dug pretty good. Uh, finding some not very many opportunities to really yeah, get anything here. here. Uh, so, but my stack is growing a little bit by a little bit as I get through this box. So I'm hoping I'll have something to make an offer on. I 
This is an amazing card. I wish it was a little bit better player than Jerome Pathon, but those Stardate cards, I mean, if that was a basketball card, it would be ridiculously high priced. I mean, it's also Kobe, but. That's Kobe, yeah. Yeah. So Jerome Pathon, not so much, but. They're sweet looking cards, I mean, if you look at it. I like their acetate. They're amazing. I was hoping to find more weird stuff in here. Um, like cereal box cards and Vic rookies. Is that actually a rookie though? Because they did a reprint. They did. 2012 reprint. I'm good. Don't get caught by that. <laughs> Gotta know what you're shopping for, right? Oh, yeah. If you find a Michael Vick rookie in a dime box, that's kind of the alert right there, you know? Gotcha. He's, he's a little better than a dime box. All right, man. So we're just coming up here on the last couple piles. Um, I'm going through my stack of stuff that I have. You can see I got a couple stripes, some, the, some Bettis stuff, some Keyshawn from my buddy. Pat McAfee cards are amazing. I found some Larry Fitz parallels and inserts. Some shiny stuff, those should do well. So I've got a pretty good stack here. <laughs> I'm going to make them an offer. Did you take a buck for those? Oh, uh, was it 10 cents ones? Yeah, those are, it's yeah, 19. It's okay, cool. I say that and I don't know if I have a buck. Uh, I got, well, um, you can see uh, there, yeah, I'm sure you can cover me right. There you go. Thank you, sir. Thank you, appreciate it, you too. Such a great deal uh, to get a couple of really cool cards. Hey, you made it to the end of the video. Thanks again so much for watching. Please click that like button, hit subscribe, ring the bell if you want to be notified of any future videos, and I'll keep making them. So today is Friday of the National. I have some plans on what I want to get accomplished today, and I'll film as much as I can and uh, bring you some more videos tonight. So stay tuned. There'll be more soon.